In Bodnafjord in Norway, something fascinating is taking shape. Hundreds of meters below sea level, the world's deepest and longest subsea road tunnel is carved out. Norway is well known for its breathtaking coastline with high mountains and deep fjords. But there's a downside to the spectacular nature. I go and get the rocks at the construction site, and then I drive it to the other sites in need of material. On the road I need to wait for ferries, stand in ferry lines, deal with cancelled ferries and narrow roads. You have islands, fjords, the road follows the coastline. It takes the longest way, not the shortest. Therefore, it is quite time-consuming. To solve the problem, the contemporary Norwegian Vikings go underwater, building the longest and deepest subsea road tunnel in the world. When it's finished, the Rogfast tunnel will be 27 kilometers long and run 392 meters below sea level at its deepest point. It will run under Boknofjorden, connecting Haugesund in the north with Stavanger in the south. We are now at the north side. And the sea have the contract to build the side cross tunnel down to the main tunnels at the north side. When you make tunnels on the sea in this length, the, the security is, is, is very important. Therefore, you, you build two separate tubes and you have uh, axis between the two tubes, each 250 meters in case of accidents or uh, you, you need to escape. The Rogfast tunnel is part of the biggest infrastructure project in Norway to date, a complete reconstruction of the roads along the west coast. This pioneering project, the new E39, will use new bridge and tunnel techniques to have travel time between Trondheim in the north and Kristiansand in the south. When finalized in 2050, the ride between the two cities will be 11 hours instead of 21. The total cost for the reconstruction will be over 39 billion US dollars. E39 will be a great road, a larger, better road. And it is really about time. We have had too many insufficient roads for too long along the west coast. Things will be easier. It will be easier for us to make plans. If you're going to Stavanger, then you can just drive to Stavanger. If you're going to Bergen, you can just drive to Bergen. You don't have to wait anymore. When it comes to building tunnels, the Norwegians are among the most experienced in the world. But the complexity of the Rogfast tunnel is something unique. Building tunnels on the sea and at that depth, of course, is quite a challenge. We are uh, investigating the rock conditions uh, before we start. All the time when we are making the tunnels, we check the, the quality of the rock ahead of the tunnel. When finalized in 2026, the Rogfast Tunnel will be a flagship construction of the new, improved E39. And for Hovard Langoker, the finished tunnel means that he will not have to wait for ferries anymore. It will tie the northwest and southwest of Norway together. Hospitals, airports, traveling to Europe, everything will be easier to access when you won't have to take the ferries anymore. This tunnel, to build something like this, is very impressive. To be a small part of it, to be able to say to the kids, I was part of this, that is something that I am quite proud of.